Jerry, welcome. Good to have you with us. I guess one thing I would say is this. It is unusual uh, and B, really not good form for a company, the quality of Target with the reputation of Target to warn this way within two weeks. Yeah, I think their, their earnings were, will be three weeks tomorrow that they reported their earnings. It's a little disappointing to see them make a change of guidance so rapidly after that. They sort of should have known back then what was happening. Meanwhile, let's keep in mind what they're doing is the right thing. They need to get rid of this inventory. And you were talking about, about inventory increases at various retailers. Keep in mind there's two factors. One is how much your inventory has grown relative to the sales increase you're seeing. And the second is the character of that inventory. And the issue at Target is they have both problems. So they have the, among the largest increases in inventory at any retailer, plus it's the wrong inventory. Target is a fashion retailer. Even the home goods are fashion oriented at Target, as you know, mm -hmm. whereas Walmart sells a lot more staples and regular products. So, you know, they're in a lot better shape, as I've mentioned recently. I'd rather be Walmart than Target right now in this environment. Yeah, they're, they're All a little, of them are going to work through this, though. Go ahead. They're a little more in the, Walmart, a little more into the basic stuff. That's so, right. So inventory management is at the heart of retail. It is, to me, sort of basic blocking and tackling. What did they do wrong? Hey, everyone here got suckered. Do you know why? Because they're so worried about the supply chain. Remember? Oh, my gosh, we're not going to have goods for Christmas. Everything's going to be out of stock. So they, they sort of bought everything they could. Mm. They threw out all the old rules, you know, about buying close to demand, just-in-time purchasing, get a good read on the fashion goods, and then reorder. It's okay to run out of stock, but it's terrible to have too much. They're like, buy everything because we're not going to be able to get it. And that's what all these retailers did wrong. They got fooled by the supply chain issue. And then when, it, when, when the year turned the corner and the consumer changed their buying behavior, by the way, not how much they're spending. Consumers are, are still wealthy and spending a lot. Don't get it confused. Change the character of what they're, what they're spending. These real, retailers were stuck with the wrong inventory. And that's the bigger problem, not the amount. You can sell candy bars all day long. They last a long time. But when it's the wrong apparel, you're in big trouble. I, you know, the thing that gets me about this is that Target is so advanced and they have uh, technology and people who are experts in predicting consumer demand. I, I get that, like, maybe people wanted fancy party dresses and business suits faster. We heard that from Macy's than they expected. But I'm just still wondering, is this really at its core a supply chain problem, that the things that you knew customers wanted late in 2021 and they, they just didn't get here in time, and now you're stuck with all this stuff that it's too late to offer to your customers. And are we going to see that same sort of backlog come Christmas time? Are you going to see back to school supplies just in time to, for, to stuff your stockings? No, those aren't fashion goods. So they know what they're going to sell in back to school supplies. And they, the crayons aren't going to be a problem. If they don't sell, they'll sell them later. That's not an issue. This is indeed, as you say, a supply chain problem, both in terms of product arriving late, but I think even more importantly, people so worried about the supply chain that they ordered too much in too early without getting a read on what was going to sell. So it is a supply chain problem. It's very disappointing. I also kind of wonder, you know, keep in mind, as you said, it's only been a few weeks since Target, you know, came out with their earnings. Maybe the numbers aren't so good right now. You know, maybe people aren't seeing the sales where they want to see in terms of those products they're trying to get rid of anyway. And so they had to act now because they were more hopeful back then a few weeks ago than they are now. So there's a little bit more going on. They have three weeks more information. 